Welcome back to the Sinking City. Um, we found a dead body last time, but um, in true video game protagonist fashion, we're going to ignore it and do some side cases. <coughs> We've got a couple that we need to uh, deal with here. So we're going to see what's up with those before we continue with the main plot. Our friend with the sewn mouth at the library needs our help. So we're going to go check that out. Let's see what we can do with that. So, the Oakmont Library, yeah, well, not the University Library then, I had it wrong. We'll go to our teleporter and get to the Oakmont Library real quick. City Hall, look, my there it is, the library. If I was Vanderberg's dead body, oh no. I'll figure that out. This joy. Everything will be all right. Be careful and keep silent. Bye, Joy. All right, well. Instead of her apartment, she's afraid to go home. Western Shells. Liberty Street. And Hawking Lane, flat one. All right, it's so right there. Oh, we definitely got to help her out. She's like one of the few people in this entire city who hasn't been a huge asshole, so. Clearly, she's our top priority. Joy's apartment, okay. Canapes. All right. The door won't budge. Well, now. Oh, come on. Okay, 
hear another one. I don't know where they are. Hello? You up are you upstairs? Invisible? I bet you're upstairs. Yep. There you go. There's that taken care of. Alright. Okay, well maybe there's nothing down here. Let's check upstairs. Or maybe there's nothing down here yet. Maybe there's something I need to find up here first. Uh, someone has real issues. Okamot well, keeps its mouth shut, little girl. This is my second visit and the final warning. If you, keep, if you can't be silent, even when your mouth is on shut, I'll make a pair of shoes from your skin like I made a toy from your doggy. Stop talking too much. Silence is golden. Oh my god. Is that a dog's skin? Oh, it's still wet. Yeah, don't, don't, not, not a big fan of that. place for a favorite pet, huh? Cozy place for a favorite pet, huh? Dear Joy, we know how much music meant to you, but losing your voice is not the end of the world. It's painful to see that you cannot sing anymore, but maybe all this is for the greater good. No one knows what would have happened if you didn't stop gossiping. There's good news, though. We found a nice job for you in a library. You can start when you're ready. Love, Mom and Dad. Camera. Damn it. This thing is melted. Ah, there's no way we'll get any pictures out of this. Sucks. Come on, come to Granny, Apicia. Kay, it's her. It's really her. Proof. Hope she doesn't hear me take the photo. So, how did it play out? Come on, come. Hey, it's her! It's really her! Click, click. A visitor. Who's there? Someone visited Joy's place, killed her dog, and sewed it into this thing. A warning for her, I guess. And the neighbor just got in the way. There's a key around here. <laughs> key 
key to apartment two. Oh, geez. Someone's a big fan of fairy tales. The kind without a happily ever after. So I should believe I live right next door to Joy Hayden herself. How much I do love her songs, Kay. Just... This morning I saw her, and it's true, her mouth really is sewn shut. The rumors about the end of her career were not just rumors. Granny Weaver truly silenced her. Not to have a chance to see Granny Weaver with my own eyes, or maybe even take a photo. Hee <laughs> hee. If she doesn't follow, her, if she doesn't appear to check up on Joy, I'll follow another clue and find where the witch lives. My hunch is that Arthur Cox discovered the whereabouts of Granny Weaver's lair. His inquiries into the Oakmont's peculiar history. He must have written about it somewhere. No sign of any wounds, but he looks like he's seen the devil himself. Okay. Um. <sighs> All right, I guess I need to look this up in the library. See if we can't look this book up. I I found your dog, Joy. Where? She's okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm afraid you won't see her again. Okay. Poor Ginger. Took a look around your apartment, Joy. It's not good. Your neighbor's dead. And let's just say it was not natural causes. Dead? Eagle and Tane, what do we do? Look, calm down. I'm not gonna leave you on your own. If you won't talk, I'll just have to work this out myself. Okay? There. Yes. Thank you. Bye, Joy. Okay, history, um, author. Local history. There you go. History of Granny Weaver. The legend of Granny Weaver grew from the story of Anne Osborne. When the Salem witches who escaped to Oakmont later became a weaver by trade, her granddaughters asked to be told about witchcraft and agreed, but swore them to secrecy. Soon after, the two girls were found in Oakmont sewers, dead, with their mouths delicately sewn shut. And Osborne was never seen again. And Oakmont believed her spirit stalks those who expose the sound secrets. Legend holds Granny Weaver can be banished for up to 100 years, but she always comes back. Supposedly, Granny Weaver lived on Beacon Street between Windhealth Avenue and Century Avenue. That's an old grove. All right. Let's find them. B. 
Beacon Street between Winhof Avenue and Century Avenue. So somewhere around there. All right. And let's go to the teleporter and we'll see if we can't solve this mystery. Up, Granny Weaver. Oh, look at you. What a nice painting view we have here. Let's see. Um, okay. What real haunted mansion up here? Foolish mortals to the haunted mansion. I am your granny, your granny weaver. Uh, not fully grown. A teenager, maybe. Uh, maybe a girl. Hard to tell. Uh, not fully grown. Hey, our granny finally told us about her life before moving to Oakmont. He and Evelyn had put in, to put in quite the effort to convince her to talk about it, but it wasn't for nothing. Granny was a real witch. She lived so long and saw so much, it's just breathtaking. I can't wait to tell our friends about this. They will die of jealousy. fan of keeping secrets. Downstairs, I guess. Ooh. Love a good ritual space. Huh. That seems good. It's, you know, that's a normal thing. Uh 
Aha, okay. Keep shooting! Kill her! Jack and Tain, kill her! Rock! This one is heavy! Figure out what happened here. Here we go. Rock. This one is heavy. Who dares? Keep shooting. Kill her. Jack and Tank, kill her. Granny Weaver. They called her up. Used two mirrors to do it. Then. Oh, looks like it got violent. All right. Sure. Still missing something. Which has her own sign, which represents her contract with the devil. Find that sign in her lair. You'll be able to make her appear in front of you, whether she wants to or not. You'll need two mirrors. Place them opposite each other so that both the sign and its reflection can be seen in either. I'm trying to destroy you with her devilry. Oh, cool. Okay, well, you know, I mean, devilry, we're good friends. Oh, come on. Oh well, what do you do? All right. Okay, well, now I, in theory, know how to do it. All right, now I gotta steal some mirrors, I guess. Find some more mirrors.
I mean, it didn't really seem to work very well for the last people who did this, so... <laughs> I feel like this isn't, like, the greatest plan I've ever had, but, you know, whatever, I guess. Okay. Shotguns are just the best way to deal with evil spirits. This is just facts. Please stop breathing at me. There you go. There we go. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Do, 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 do. Ding dong, the wicked bitch is dead. Do, do, do. There we go. Two more shotgun shells, yeah. All right, well, we did it. Mystery solved with a shotgun. That's how mysteries work. For at least a hundred years, all right. Good. That's a good number of years, you know? safe now. I figured that it'd all be an over. You could speak freely. Is something still wrong? All is well. Thank you again. I, I'm confused. Why don't you unstitch your mouth then? Can't punishment. Two years left. No matter. Need to serve the sentence. Full. How come? Sewing someone's mouth shut is sick enough. I know, right? When Granny's gone, you're not from Oakmont. Can't understand. Okay. Okay. Just as you say, I guess. Bye, Joy. We did it. Truly, the silence was golden. Minor shotgun and better damage. Okay. Higher proficiency with the battle rifle. Uh huh. That sounds good. Take that. All right. 
Well, that silence was truly golden, and I think we've done everything we can with that. That was a pretty creepy side case. We'll leave it there for today. I'll see you later for more The Sinking City.